Last night, China released their second quarter GDP, and it came in below the average analyst estimate of 1% with a read of 0.4%. Now, why is this important to the corn market? Well, China's shown quite the appetite for U.S. corn over the last several years. And if Chinese growth continues to miss expectation, that puts a big question mark over future demand of U.S. corn from China. Now, speaking of Chinese demand, we did have a flash sale reported by the USDA this morning. This was the first flash sale we've seen since June 17th. Private exporters announced 133,000 metric tons of corn sold to China for marketing year 2022-2023. But the big ticket item and the hot topic as of late continues to be weather throughout the Midwest. We did have some rains popping up in parts of eastern Iowa and Illinois earlier this morning. But the big question mark continues to be over the Great Plains and the Southern Plains where it's been hot and dry. If hot and dry continues to persist throughout the remainder of the summer, we could start to see yield estimates lowered in those areas, thus impacting final production here in the United States.